Okay, the watch list for Wednesday, January 11th. Um, the SPY doing just chopping around, but there's a lot of crazy moves going on, so it's a good time to be trading. Um, and let's go right into the watch list, all right? C-U-R, I'm going to have several on watch that just made crazy moves. Again, we do not want to become chasers, so keep in mind, when I put these on watch, they're on watch for the next several days, all right? So C-U-R is one of them. Um, it's extended, but you never know in this crazy market. Maybe you get a red to green or some kind of low risk setup. IDXG ended up kind of finding equilibrium today after gapping up. It shot up. It had a nice range from uh, 650 to 780. So a nice range before settling in right around seven. It's still a good candidate. After you know, look at this. Like a week ago, it went from 750 to 1425 on an intraday basis, right? Then down like four days in a row. Today gaps up. So it's coiled and i mean i don't know where it needs to get tomorrow i have to watch it trade tomorrow to see if there's going to be a trade in it um but i there's this one's got a potential squeeze so i'm going to keep this one on watch all right um g-e-v-o not that excited about this one but they did the reverse split and had a nice pop and now you got two days lower but still inside of that day that had the big move and declining volume so i still like this for a potential turn back up only with a proper intraday setup um now this this is aggravating to me. This is R O K A, and I pay like a hundred and sixty a month for e signal charts, right? So you would expect some really good charts, and they are easy to move around, and they're easy, you know, they're they're decent charts. But I'm going to show you something. This closed at four ninety. No, it didn't. Watch, watch what happens when I switch into fifteen minute candles. I actually closed at almost six bucks. So then we go back to the daily, and it's today's candle isn't there. So we've got some big candle that closed around six bucks, um, went a little, went up to six twenty. So I, I'm trying to literally trying to picture what the daily chart looks like. Um, Trade station, you really need to get this this kind of stuff hammered out for the prices you charge. Um, but anyway, I'm going to put it on watch because it's a lower float stock and it did shot all the way up to six. So even though the daily candle is not showing, if anyone else has this issue on, and it's just on random stocks on random days that has trades. Um, I'm sorry, e-signal, and knows maybe a fix for it, please email me and let me know. Um, CBMX, nice pop today. Maybe a red to green tomorrow. Just, again, no, low floaters are going crazy. Um, IMUC, another another low floater that uh, had it basically doubled today. And I'm going to watch for that one for the next uh, several days. If you have if you have these stocks on watch, you can. Uh, it might not happen tomorrow, right? Um, uh, if something made a big move today, tomorrow might not be the, tra the day to trade it. When you have this many on watch, one of them might just give that setup we need, right? ONTX, um, it's just the same scenario. Big volume spike and a big move today. Looking for a possible follow through tomorrow. And again, these will all be on watch um, all week. XGTI um, closed at 253, but look at that volume today. If I go to five minute candles, you can kind of see it had a really nice afternoon move before giving some of that back. Again, another low floater, and today's volume is going to probably catch some attention for the overnight scanning folks, and this one might give a setup tomorrow. Um, ATOS had a nice kind of volume spike out of this range, and then the next day right back in, and then today again, right back to the top of this, uh, to, to the top of that volume spike from two sessions ago. So 167, today's high was 165, so really up over 165-ish. This one could head up to two. Um, see here if I can figure out real quick. I'll check on finviz.com, see what the float is. Yeah, 3.2 million. Um, definitely worth watching. But, you know, if you look at the daily candles, something I try to teach people to watch, most of the daily candles have almost no range to them. So that makes me like this one a lot less. I like the stocks that can make crazy moves, um, but this one is worth watching. Uh, let me try that, type that again. O-R-E-X. Um, still kind of flagging after this big, Two or three day move. Now it's been flagging for a few days. Really like this one for potential move up tomorrow or later this week. APRI. Looks a little bit like that ATO. I see a nice spike back here. You had a lower high. Um, so certainly over this high, which was 160, today's high was 158. So if this gets up into the 160s, that might retest and maybe break through this 180. That's another possible catalyst. So um, let's see, APRI. I'm going to put in my notes 161 and 181 those are like two potential catalysts um and it's got nice support below and a little bit of extra volume today too so this one's a, a decent little setup um mbrx 
Not much volume today, but you can see a little bit of a volume spike. Had the huge two-day move here. And then it came in, settled in, and did nothing. Just rode the 20-day, and then today a nice spike, closing basically at its highs. Maybe a red to green or something like that tomorrow. And then lastly, and I have really too much to watch here, PRAN did this big spike here. And again, the low floaters are going crazy. So this went from like two to three this day. And it's really flagging ever since. And I certainly like it up over this three-day high. Um, again, up in the maybe up in the 260s. I'll put like 262 in my notes. Those, I don't live and die by these numbers, but it's nice to have a, an area that might get it going. Um, this one only traded 91,000 today in pre-market. So, you know, some of these are thinner, but with a proper setup, you can get huge moves. Uh, I think that's all I've got. There's just some crazy stuff moving out there. Um, oh, also, hold on, GNVC, and this is the last thing I'm gonna talk about. This is another one, example, right? It looks like it closed at five bucks today or 497. Um, it gapped up today, went to over 10 bucks before settling in at 877. I actually got long this one uh, right here at 850-ish this morning as a morning gap play and scaled out all the way up to almost 1050 and made like 2700 bucks in the opening seven minutes. Um, and I probably want to watch this again. I like it kind of closed above the open today and, uh, you know, closed fairly strong. But again, you look at the daily, candle's not there. So again, if anyone knows how to fix this or if, uh, you know, if he signal uh, has a fix for this, happens to watch this video, let me know. All right, I'm going to leave it at that. I'm sure we'll find some gappers in the morning too. Enjoy the rest of the evening, guys, and we'll see you guys tomorrow.